Oh yeah, here's another one yet <coughs> in the Bud Light Lime series of margaritas with a twist. This one is called Strawberita, something to that effect. Um, it's also 8% by volume, no surprise, all of them are. Uh, I've never tried this one yet either. That says one extra ounce. That's something I've never really noticed till just now. It's a, uh, yep, contains 8% alcohol, 25 fluid ounces. What's your percent on yours? It's 8% alcohol by volume. My little kinky bow is 17%. That would mean it's 34 proof. Oh, yes. For those of you that don't know, my wife is consuming this this evening. It's a kinky, but I'm not doing a review of kinky, but it is not bad. Uh, but that's 17% proof. 17% proof. I had a cherry UV last night that was 30%, and it came out to 60 proof. And when I drank it, it was like Robitussin cherry was one hell of a kick, let me tell you. Yeah, this is a but 34 proof. This is a vodka, too. Vodka. I didn't know that. Yadka vodka. Let's give this strawberry Rita. Strawberry Rita. Strawberry or strawberry Rita. Strawberry Rita. You know what they call strawberry girls, don't you? They wanna live <laughs> with a cinnamon girl. I don't know what do they call strawberry girls? Showgirls? Hmm. Look it up. I've never heard the terminology. I've heard a lot of different things that girls can be referred to. Strawberry not being one of them, however, that doesn't not ring mm -hmm. a bell in my Maybe you should have them mind. comment and tell you what that means. Okay, well, there's a little trivia for all. Anybody out there happens to know what this terminology my wife's talking about with the strawberry girl, uh, hit me up and let me know because I'm kind of clueless over here. Uh, I'll probably be feeling dumb when I do finally find out, but whatever. It don't matter, I guess. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. I'm going to try this stuff here, and I'm going to put this into a glass since I am in the house and have access to a glass this time. Uh, hold on. Oh, I never come prepared. Because you're paralyzed from the neck up. Yeah, all y'all should know by now that I never am prepared completely because everything is unscripted on the spot as it happens. Uh... It's a Rome it's, thing. It's, it's a Rome thing. It's the real thing, and we take it as it happens. We do not plan for none of this. The only planning I do is pick up the things that I plan to review on. That's about all the planning I put into this. Every Otherwise, it's on the spot. There's no nothing. And so here we go. Let's pour this out. I tend to like my beverages in a glass better. It seems like they go down a lot better for me than they do to drink them out of a can or a bottle. I've kind of noticed. Well, that's got a good head on it, too. Oh, yeah. She's got a lot of fizzly on it. You mm -hmm. can probably hear that. Hear that? says says... And let's give her a try. Smells like strawberry... something. Let's taste it. Kind of weekend flavor, uh, I have to say that much. The, the strawberry is there. The flavor is just not as strong as any of the previous ones in this series that I've tried. So, out of the series that you have tried, which one do you think is your favorite so far? So far, um, I guess I probably have to say the mango. The mango one. The mango is by far, thus far, my favorite. Uh, I like the raspberry and the cranberry were also good. They're right up there yeah. with the mango. But Mango is probably your favorite out of the series? Mango being one of my personal favorites in every form. Yeah, I like the mango was good. Kind of like me with the vodka is my favorite, any type of vodka. Yeah, she <laughs> likes UV and now she's on to the kinky thing. <laughs> hey, give me a... The silver smear uh, <coughs> off any day, unapproved. She'll drink the kinky and then she'll probably want to play with my slinky. I don't know. Whatever, you know, as it happens. <laughs> not on YouTube, though. No, we uh, we keep it wholesome here on YouTube, y'all. We're not going to do anything perverse. 
or drug related or crime related, uh, we keep it pretty easy and uh, watchable for about every audience and age range. Uh, you know, except for the alcohol, I don't recommend that any of you children try drinking alcohol until you reach proper drinking age. You know, I don't want to promote. Uh, no drinking and driving either. Yeah, definitely don't drink and drive. That's a definite no no. Uh, I've never been caught drinking and driving, and therefore I don't drink and I don't drive. Usually Not at the same I'm the time. DD. I used to be the designated drunk driver back in my day. Uh, nowadays, uh, you know, there's just too much to lose and too much at risk if you get caught after drinking and driving. It's smarter if you're going to drink to just stay put wherever it is you're drinking, like at home. Yep. Uh, or a friend's house if you have a couch you can pass out on, whatever. But, uh, you know, avoid all the trouble at all. Just sit at home and enjoy yourself and have a good time with your friends or family mm -hmm. or, your fa or your your wife or husband or whatever. Girlfriend, boyfriend. Girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever have you. You know, you can't go wrong sitting at home enjoying a cold one and just having a good time with it. And for those of you wondering why I've got all these constant boo-boos on my arms, it's because I work at a restaurant, and a lot of these are from grease burns from the flat top for the fry vats. Uh, yeah, you know, it's inevitable that if you work in a restaurant at some point or another, you're going to get burned. I mean, I got this nice long one here from some knucklehead that smacked me with the bottom of a, a fry basket because he wasn't paying attention. But it don't matter. I healed. It's no big deal. I'm not going to cry about it. So, anyway, we got kind of off track there with all this hoopla. Anyways, the strawberry is not too bad. Uh... I have to rate it about a 3 out of 5 just simply because the flavor is lacking. Uh, they definitely could have added more flavor. They sure didn't hesitate to add it to any of the other ones that I've had thus far. Uh, I just really reviewed the Apple Arita here not too long ago. And initially it was good to go off the bat. Uh, but I noticed the further into the can I got, the more it tasted like just straight up alcohol. And the Apple just kind of... I don't know what happened to the apple. Just uh, it, it took a vacation away. or it faded away or something. But uh, this isn't too bad. It's kind of you know it's not really quenching my thirst. It's it doesn't taste overwhelmingly like alcohol. It's I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. It probably won't come to me until long after I'm done with this video. But anyways, there you have it, everybody. The strawberry -da. It's a play on words. And of course, you got your little... They recommend what you can do with it for mixes and drinks and whatnot. And then, of course, you got your warnings about if you're pregnant or driving or have medical issues or whatever have you. But for the most part, yeah, a three out of five. And that's about all I got on this one, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you happen to come across this and try it, hit me up. Let me know what you thought of it. You know, you can post your comments down here, whatever side of your screen it happens to show up on. <laughs> uh, and until next time, everybody, take it easy and uh, drink responsibly.